What up, dude? What are we doing today? We're driving. We're in the Porsche, and we're gonna go meet up with a gentleman uh, in our Porsche Club of America PCA that we met at the uh, Cars and Coffee at Fiesta Texas in San Antonio. Uh, he has an awesome Porsche and one of my favorites. It is a Cayman, and uh, we are lucky enough to be able to uh, get together with him today and uh, do a little bit of a shoot, a film, a review. I'm not really a review, just an overview. I don't know what I'm gonna call it, but I'll figure it out. It's the first one I'm doing. It'll be a lot of fun. And going into 2023, I plan on hopefully doing one of these every month. It won't always be a Porsche. I'm lucky enough to know a lot of car people in the community here in South Texas, San Antonio area, as well as all over the place. So what I wanna to try to bring to you in 2023 is at least once a month, a get together with a car person or at least their vehicle and go over that vehicle. And I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet, but I gotta figure it out by the time I put this out. So we're on our way. We'll be there in a little bit. All right, we're here at my buddy's house. And uh, yeah, let's show you what I'm here to see. So you didn't tell by the pictures, or sorry, the video, it's a GT4 RS came in 2022. And it is one beautiful machine. We we're lucky enough to meet him at Fiesta, Texas. And we got a little bit of it there, but today we get a little bit more and I get to take a ride in it. Not drive it, but I'll take a ride in it, which is you're gonna be a treat in itself. So Alcantara on the inside, bunch of carbon fiber accents all over the car, from the hood to the interior pieces you see right here. And those awesome air intakes where I have a back window. And there's a the little engine right there. And we're gonna pop it up and see what it looks like. But well, let's take a look at this awesome gooseneck wing very very cool very well engineered as you already know because you've probably seen a ton of reviews on this thing on the track so one of the best parts of this vehicle sits right in the middle and you can tell those beautiful carbon intake covers and plenums and there is no sound deadening really going in there so you pretty much hear it all and uh but yeah it's gonna be worth it do you really need a radio for this probably not such an awesome vehicle so don't mind that that's just because he actually drives the vehicle and the hood is 100 percent carbon so the underside is dry carbon and the top side is the gloss carbon these are functional ducts if you see the top of the hood right here there's ducts and these ducts come out of here or suck in air through here into here to the brakes this helps generate more ventilation and then you see this fender is cut in and that allows for the hot air to evacuate through there for the brakes so this machine is built 100 percent to do its job as efficiently as possible not just look good and uh you can hear the little blurps and you literally hear the car breathing right behind me. It's so awesome. So everything you've heard is true. Very cool. <laughs> Beautiful Alcantara uh, dash. It's got the front lift on it. So when you got to get over a speed bump, you can do that. These seats hug the heck out of you. 
That'll go. Yeah, it's a little cold. <laughs> Maybe I do a little bit for be a fun while you're headed on. So so solid it just you don't feel like you're gonna lose control. I hope you all heard that, because it sounds so awesome. Good old Texas turnabout at a car that can handle. Yeah. And these brakes work so great. And you know I know brakes, so it's amazing. <laughs> wow. Just the noise. <laughs> oh. I just don't see how you don't smile every time, right? This would be a fun drive just to the store. I mean, I go grocery shopping in my Cayman, so I'm pretty sure I can fit the groceries in this one. It's not the same. It's not the same. But huge thank you to Bill, uh, my buddy uh, with a beautiful GT4 RS Cayman. Uh, his Cayman is the first uh, Cayman in the this area of Texas. And that was revving to 8,000 RPM approximately. Uh, the red line is 9,000. He was backing off, but man, can you get to the speed limit any cooler than that with that noise? Very, very cool. So thankful. I hope you all enjoyed that. It's our first little car review, and I think what we're going to call it is the ride. I'm not driving, so I can't call it the drive. But maybe I do get to drive some in the future. But for today, and for what I think we're going to call it is the ride. Again, huge thanks to our buddy Bill great guy he's got a couple other awesome cars uh and uh he's excited to share them with us it's really awesome to meet great people in the car community and uh someone like bill who just loves to share his love of cars and passion of cars that he has and the ability to have some nice vehicles like that and he loves to share them with people uh he drives it he does not sit him down he's got a couple other ones and they drive too so uh, like I said, we met him at San Antonio Cars and Coffee at uh, Fiesta, Texas. So, hope you all enjoyed that. It's cold today. That's why it slipped out a little bit. Even my car was doing it. Uh, it is a th currently 30 degrees outside here in the San Antonio area of Texas. Um, great time. Lots of fun. And... Uh, that's why I love cars. I'm still smiling. That engine sounds so awesome. Anyhow, y'all, hope you loved it and enjoyed it. Have a great week. God bless.